Good afternoon to you from Steve Smokehouse. It's actually pretty nice outside except for the wind. I decided to do some indoor cooks for a little while. I'm going to use our fireware. Uh, it's called an open hearth broiler and it's a little bit of a pain to clean up but you can do it inside. It doesn't create a bunch of smoke and it makes a really nice steak. I've used it for rotisserie recipes before and I've had it for a very long time. I got it off eBay years and years ago and I think they're probably probably go way back to the 50s and 60s. But anyway, I'm gonna show you this beautiful USDA top sirloin prime steak I got from Texas Lab. And in a moment, I'm going to season it up and get it ready to cook for you. So stay tuned, I'll be back. There's a really beautiful top sirloin. Can't wait to unwrap it and let it bloom. I'm only gonna use salt and pepper, uh, that's kosher salt and fresh ground peppercorn and granulated garlic. I'm gonna season it Kind of lightly, I'm not gonna go overboard with it. I kinda wanna taste the, the beautiful uh, USDA Prime top sirloin taste. If you hang on, I'll get all that done and show it to you after it's seasoned. Okay, so I've got our salt, pepper, garlic mixture on there. I didn't put a whole lot on there because I really wanted to taste the USDA Prime sirloin beef taste. It smells just right, just again. Once you get it out of the cryovac and the air starts coming to it and it starts uh, kind of relaxing a little bit and it's called blooming, it, it really develops its full beauty. It's really nicely marbled as you can see in here. There's little styrations of uh, like little fat pockets and those are the kind that are going to render down really nice. And I'm anxious to see what it's going to do on an indoor electric open hearth as opposed to grilling outside. This thing's huge, it's big. Thank you again Texas Lab. This is once again a beautiful cut of meat. All right, it's all set up. Farberware Electric Open Hearth Broiler. I have no idea how old this thing is, but uh, there was one in my family and, and a whole bunch of families I knew way back when. So I'm gonna pan away just a little bit to get a little bit of view. I've got it plugged in. I've got uh, cooking like Pam olive oil spray on it. And right now she's heating up and in a moment we're gonna put her steak on there. Here we go. You can see the heating coils underneath it. This smells so good. This is, uh, I don't do indoor steaks very often. I don't know why, so it's not that hard to do. The cleanup's a little bit more of a chore. Actually, it's a long more of a chore, but uh, it's gonna be good, I can tell you already. This open hearth broiler works really well. You can see like all the, the fat's kind of rendering down. That's going to give us a lot of tenderness and a lot of stuff. And you can see all the uh, marbling is starting to come like out on this side. Probably in about 10 or 15 minutes we're going to flip it over and finish it on the other side. out. It smells delicious. It might be a, a little on the rare side, but oh no. <laughs> it came out really, really nicely medium rare. I am delighted with this. Cut a few more pieces off. Oh goodness. Look at that. Oh yeah, look at that. Here's our Monday evening steak. The top sorely came out perfect. It's really nice, medium rare. Baked potatoes just like I like it. I've got some parsley kind of scratted around and a little bit of rosemary to give the uh, beef a little bit of added flavor. Thank you so much for watching Steam Smokehouse. This is really a good recipe. It's really easy and you could probably do it on your stove. So give me a thumbs up, please subscribe. I'll see you next time.